Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm so excited to share with you five simple habits which help me to become fluent in English. And whether you are just starting your journey or you are looking for something to improve your fluency, these simple habits can help you. And let's dive right in. If you are new here, English is my third language. I never traveled abroad because I'm from simple family and I never had opportunity to speak with native speakers. And in this channel, I share my experience and my story. And I want to show that everything is possible. You can learn English by yourself and you can become advanced in it. So everything is possible and you just need some tools and techniques. Now we have this vast opportunity thanks to the internet and YouTube. I learn English thanks to YouTube and actually not only English. Actually, I believe in power of small changes. Small habits can compound over time and produce significant results. New language involves two key elements. First, you need to understand the basics of how to learn language effectively. And the second one, even more crucial, understanding yourself, your goals, motives and learning style. Knowing yourself plays vital role. I start my day with learning English for just five minutes and I do one of my usual activities in English. Every day is different and for some days I can learn more about the topic I had problem with or I can revise vocabulary I learned the day before. It's just like morning warm up for me. I prepare myself for upcoming productive day. Actually, the hardest part is starting and those five minutes are game changers. Actually, you can learn any language using these habits because this is not specific only for English. And about the activities, I use meditations, um, actually yoga nidra. I will leave link in the description part. You can try it as well. And I learned um, the parts of our body thanks to that meditation. Second one is to listen something in English every day. And I developed this habit during my college years. And you know, I'm for the student because I'm med student and actually I'm not student anymore, already a resident. But you know, I have just an hour every morning um, before I get to the hospital. And I use that hour for learning English. Actually, I do passive learning because I listen to podcasts or music or uh, I watch some YouTube videos. Just uh, I do a great listening practice every day, every morning. I also have a habit to walk a lot, really a lot. Maybe you saw my video where I shared my experience of walking 20,000 of steps every day. And that was insane, by the way. Um, uh, however, I also uh, listen to something uh, while walking and combine these two healthy activities is the best way to improve. Illusion, try to optimize your time and find ways to immerse yourself into language. Keeping a journal helped me a lot. Actually, I started journaling because I wanted to solve some inner problems. But uh, after journaling for a while, I discovered that I can write in a beautiful way and actually journaling helped me a lot to improve my English. I will learn something new, especially foreign language by ourselves. It's really hard to track our progress and see our results. So journaling can really help to solve this problem as well because uh, you have an access to your older notes and you can see improvements and you can see your growth. I like to read my older journals, one of my favorite and relaxing activities ever. And you can write about your day, your thoughts or about your goals. This practice will help improve your writing skills and your ability to express yourself more fluently. Your learning sources. Don't rely on only one resource or method of learning. Explore different textbooks, websites, apps or courses. It really will give you a unique opportunities and will help you to be more productive and see your progress sooner. I get bored easily and for me it's really important to change the methods and resources I use and I need to learn something exciting every day. And actually I never stick to only one book and can suggest you to do the same. 
especially if you feel unmotivated or stuck in one place changing your approach can really um, bring the fresh air into your life stay curious about the language culture and people who speak it engaging with the language outside of structured lessons can be a fun and effective way to become fluent and the last one is to use every opportunity to speak actually i practice self-talk and if you have an opportunity you can just join for some courses speaking clubs and maybe you can find exchange partner and speak with them but actually i'm an introverted person and for me it's easier to stay committed uh, to self-talk and shadowing technique rather than challenge myself and find natives and speak with them uh, of course when i have an opportunity to speak with real people i use that opportunity i put away all that shyness and start speaking and as you know the most essential component of learning any language or master any skill you want to master is consistency and creating these habits really helped me to be consistent and to succeed you can adjust or modify all these habits um, according to your lifestyle and according to your goals but now you have it the five simple habits that help me to become fluent in english Remember, language learning is journey and these habits will make that journey more enjoyable and rewarding. So incorporate them into your daily routine, stay consistent and watch your fluency soar. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget about thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I will see you soon with new tips and with new experiences and with new challenges. And for now, bye.